stitch and flip is a common technique that is used anytime you're adding a half square triangle onto something, like onto the edge of a strip of fabric, onto a corner of a block, which is also sometimes called snowballing. This is also the technique that I use in my easiest ever method for making half square triangles and flying geese. And you can check out those tutorials if you wanna see how to do that. But normally with stitch and flip, you have your squares and you mark a diagonal line from corner to corner and then stitch directly on that line. But today I'm gonna to show you a shortcut for how you can stitch it without marking the line onto the fabric. So on the bed of your sewing machine, you're going to need a reference line and it's not going to be a normal quarter inch reference line, but it's going to be a reference line that's right in line with the needle. So I'm just putting this post-it note on and it needs to be straight and a straight line out from the needle. So now we have our piece, we have this little square on the corner of this longer piece, and I haven't marked corner to corner, but I can just line this up so I know that one corner is lined up with the needle, and then I'll just move it so this other corner is lined up with the edge of that post-it. And now when I stitch, as long as I'm guiding this corner, I know it's going to be a straight line. So there, my stitching is straight. I can just fold that back and it's ready to go with no marking. Now, if you have larger pieces, such as this set of squares, I couldn't use that method with this because it goes off the edge of the sewing machine. So if I had an extension table, I could put an extension table and I could extend this line right out as far as I could go on the table. Um, but I would need that in order to do bigger pieces. So you do need to be able to see the edge of your piece lined up with that line when the other end is in the needle. So there is a maximum size that you can use this method for. So that's how easy it is. Enjoy this shortcut and add half square triangles to your pieces without marking them. For more quilting tutorials and tips, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.